Hey, I'm Chris Davis from PC Addicts. It's 3.49 a.m. in the morning and I have a Windows Pro tip for you. So let me lay out the scenario. Let's say you support some Windows machines or a Windows machine, who knows, and you want something to start up every time a user logs in, no matter who logs in. Now back in the XP days, it's pretty easy. You would hit the start button, you'd go to all programs, and you would find the startup folder and then I think you right click it and then you can click explore and it'll bring it up um, for that currently logged in user but if you wanted all users I think there was another option for like explore all users. Windows 7, Windows 8 and, I, and Windows Vista as well it's not so easy to find where that all users startup folder is. A co-worker of mine about a week ago had just come across this tip and man this would have been so helpful to me and, and a lot of us at work um, over the years here so this one is a quick way to get to those things like the startup folders or the desktop or some other things so what you're going to do is from the run dialog window or better yet nowadays you just hit the windows key and start typing so I'm going to start typing shell colon startup Enter. Now this is just bringing up the startup folder for the currently logged in user. And if we look at the path here, you see it's C users, C Davis, which is the currently logged in person, app data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows, start menu, programs, and startup. I can't remember that. Let's say you want it for all the users. So same thing, you're going to hit the Windows key. You're going to type shell colon common startup. So it's shell colon common space startup. Hit enter. And then you can see here, you got C, Program Data, Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Program, Startup. I wouldn't remember that either. There's actually a, quite a bit of commands you can use, and I have them posted on the blog post. You can do desktop too, so shell colon desktop. That's going to bring the currently logged in user's desktop. And then if you do shell colon common space desktop, that'll bring the all users or the public desktop. So hopefully this helped you guys out um, let us know in the comments below if this is something you've known about or if you think this is something that's very helpful and you didn't know about uh, either way I think it's pretty cool and hopefully it helps you guys out so till next time see you guys later